Yo, yo, Daily Fire, episode 25. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. It's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to MaxEffortMuscle.com. You got to check out that amino coffee and definitely that CBD 1000 over at MaxEffortMuscle.com. And you are listening to the Business and Biceps Network. All right, today, today's episode, I'm titling it Slippery Slope. And this is uh, this is where it came from. I saw that alcohol sales in the U.S. are up like 40%. Now, I think we all know why. Because we all at home, we're bored and we're looking to get our drink on. And I get it. Listen. I got, I'm a, this is a guy preaching that got two kegs of beer at his house on tap. I got Guinness, because that's my favorite, and I got Blue Moon for people that don't drink dark beer when I used to, you know, when I was allowed to have people over back in the day. And, but at the end of the day, the slippery, excuse me, I can't talk, the slippery slope of this whole thing is, is that you need to be on your game right now. It's easy, look, for one week, the first week of the quarantine, I was getting up later. I drank a couple extra days. I was, you know, feeling a little bit depressed just like everyone else. But I thought to myself, like, how am I going to allow this? Especially if I still have a service to render, which would be, you know, training, which would be supplements, things that people are still consuming. How how do I not force more discipline right now? Because they need me. My family needs me right now. So if I'm getting up later and I'm drinking more often, I'm not going to be as effective. Not to mention, I'm not going to be as healthy. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I believe there is a balance and fuck it. I'm all in Monday through Friday and I'm all in half a Saturday and Sunday too. But at the end of the day, I'm also all in on chilling a little bit on those days and drinking some beers and eating some wings and getting takeout and supporting our local restaurants and doing the things that I got to do. But that can't get out of balance, y'all. Because right now, I think we all can feel this way. Does Sunday feel much different than fucking Tuesday? Does Wednesday feel much different than Monday? For the first time in our kind of system that we operate by, fucking days don't even matter. Because they don't. You can't tell me that Saturday feels different than Tuesday if you're for real in quarantine, working from home. Maybe you're not logging on to your server or doing whatever that you do for work. But... I just think there's a a really slippery slope right now, especially for you guys um, that are having problems in the job market, which is a lot of people. I would say I understand. Like, look, I lived through some crazy hardship growing up. I get it what it is to barely be able to pay your bills. I remember what that feels like. But I would force as much discipline within the chaos as you can because when that opportunity does come up, you want to make sure you're a separate you're separate from everyone else. You want to make sure that what you're doing right now is that ultimate separator. It's important. Right now, you know how many motherfucking fitness people are out there? This shit is so saturated. I'm doubling down on the shit I know right now. Cuz I know I know more <laughs> than most. I know I can add more value right now. I was made for this. The way that I program, my skill set, my discipline, I was made for this. And I'm trying to help y'all. And I'm telling you that it's so much easier to go down and pour a beer right now on Tuesday because it feels the same as Saturday. I know it. But you do not want to be slippery on this slope right now because we don't know how long we're going to be down for. We don't know the depths of it. So don't just say fuck throw it out the window. I'm telling you, please listen to me when I say this. Force your schedule. Make yourself better. I've had people that hit me up. Yo, I lost my job. I'm still lunging. I'm still reading. I'm preparing myself for the next opportunity. I don't know when it's going to be here, but I'm going to be prepared. Think about this. Exercising daily, studying daily instead of drinking daily, waking up late and feeling sorry for yourself. I'm telling you, there's a difference Because the people that are doing that, and look, I feel it because I was kind of feeling that way the first week. The people who are doing that are going to lose to the people that are keeping their shit together whenever they are competing for a job, whenever they are competing to build a business, whenever they are competing to show why they're different, they're going to be on their game. 
Now, I'm not saying I want 100% crazy discipline, blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that. I drank on Thursday because I fucking forgot what day it was last week. Last week, I did exactly what I should have should have not done until Friday. I got up at 3.30 and enforced my normal schedule. This week, I did it every day this week. And I'm telling you, I'm more focused than I ever been because I know that's the separator, not just the getting up part, but what I'm doing while I'm up, what I'm studying while I'm up. I know that y'all think I'm fucking nuts and I'm telling you, I want to drink beer too. It's so hard not to because it's easy. It is fucking easy, but I challenge you don't do what's easy right now. Do what's difficult. Because when it gets more difficult, you're going to be more prepared. It's just the thing. So it's the ultimate separator. It's keeping the discipline balance that you already had before or even forcing it more. I just urge you to really push. Because like I said, we don't have a time clock. We don't know what we're up against. I'd rather be prepared and healthy than unprepared and unhealthy. Daily Fire, episode 25, Slippery Slope. If it's trash, turn it off. If it has value, please share it out for me. Brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. And you are listening to the Business and Biceps Network. Appreciate y'all. Peace.